Welcome to I See the Light. I'm Prophetess Regina. I'm the light and I'm back with another one. God bless. And God bless. I hope this is reaching you all in good spirits and high vibrations and you're not letting anyone dim your light. Today is August the 7th, 2024. Um, excuse me that I didn't come yesterday. I actually did a video, but it was a no it was a no no for me. I, I didn't I didn't approve the message. The message was dynamite. It was just the, the presentation of it wasn't to my standards. So we're here today with the message from yesterday. And um we're here to praise God. I love you, Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, and Mother Mary and King Jesus. I love you so much, and I'm never gonna let you go. No, no, no. I'm outside, y'all, so I can shout. I have to be honest because honesty is just the way to go. I have to be honest and say I am who I am and I am going to improve because it's like things get better in time. It takes time sometimes for, you know, things to take place and we can't get distracted or get, um, you know, somewhat down because you don't see the progress but the progress is happening believe it or not so i want to say i um am thankful today for all that the lord has provided for me and my family and i want to i want to send a happy birthday out to whomever birthday is today happy birthday so I'm going to jump right on in. Let me go ahead and get this book, the book here, this book right here. Uh-huh. And um, I wrote a prayer. So I'm going to read the prayer I wrote yesterday. I'm here to praise God. That's what, if you want to know what I'm here to do, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to praise God. So at this time, let's go ahead and praise him. First, we're going to start off with a prayer. Every knee in here shall bow down to the Lord and confess their sins and give it all up to God or you're going to hell. That's the way it goes. There's only two ways, God's way or the wrong way. Which way do you want it? Let's go. This is a prayer today for the strength to accomplish what we came to do and what my ancestors chose to me to do so at this time lord we're asking that you continue to to push us forward to where we need to go we're working not only for ourselves but for our ancestors because they chose us to do this assignment father what you set us out to do we will do and what they the enemy sent toward us we send back. We pray that you send it back to them and use it as a weapon to defeat their family. We ask you to defeat the wicked ones, the wicked family. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to protect your chosen people with your mighty, powerful blood with your mighty powerful hand with your mighty powerful love lord jesus protect protect us lord jesus protect us in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit i pray for balance peace harmony abundance and victory over all obstacles i pray this for all of God's people and his kingdom that man shall love woman and woman should love man and order shall come to this earth in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and it shall be done amen and amen glory be to God I'm able to shout today because I'm sitting in the car I explained yesterday that I don't want to be a bad neighbor, so I, I can't get loud in my, my apartment, my place of residence. But I'm here today, and I come with the message and the hot fire truth, and I'm outside. Nobody can stop me from shouting glory, glory, hallelujah. 
he is the king of kings and the lord of lords that is and i'm praising his holy name the son is born the son is born so in the middle of the night i heard not last night but the night before i heard this and i had to write it in the dark because my tablet not my my um my computer tablet but this tablet <laughs> this one this notebook was laying on the side of the bed and um i reached for it and wrote it in the dark and it, and um i heard this say it was the lord speaking to me he told me to tell you guys he said the Lord hears your cries for injustice. The Lord has heard the cries of injustice and he's going to make it right. We just have to understand that we don't need to be tricked by Satan. Now I explained to you who Satan is and I explained to you which way I'm going. We're trying to make something right. We're trying to correct some wrongs. I today went into the store and I was speaking with a gentleman and I said, ah, please bring back the 70s. Well, you know, in the 70s, I was a child, but I guess I didn't have a care in the world because my mother was looking out for me or so I thought that was my mother. I believe it was my mother at that time. I don't think that anything had been put upon her like that yet, but then again, maybe it was because I can't get into it. But anyway, um, simpler days you know when family meant something to each other like when all of us meet at the house and um mama cooks the dinner and and the kids all you know wash up and we sit down and we have a conversation about our day and all oh, those type of days bring them back bring them back bring down the prices of things it's just the, the like i was watching um one of the debates, I don't know, it's not a debate, what is it called when they come together and talk their political talks or something like that, because you know I'm not into politics, I'm trying because this is an interesting time, and sometimes I, I have to zoom in because it's on my timeline on, on YouTube, and I assume that the Lord wants me to watch it, so it, it was a young lady on there that was speaking on the behalf of, she was a supporter of Trump, and um, I agree with everything she says because prices of everything is too high. Um, this, this, uh, like I continue to say, I think my major concern is that this place has gotten too congested. It's overpopulated. It's too many people here. And I mean, I'm not saying these people are bad people, but why can't their countries? you know, fix the right, the wrongs in their country so that they will stay in their homeland. It's time to close the borders. I agree with Donald Trump on that. I have finally said who I, I'm going for. I'm not making a mistake. People say, oh my gosh, he's this, he's that. Well, you know what? He reminds me a lot of me. Oh, he's a felon. You can't pick... I'm a, I'm a, I got a felony, and it's, it's going to get corrected in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. See, y'all looking at a book, but I'm judging him. I'm judging him on a different thing. I'm judging him on his words. Now, people, oh, he's lying. I thought at one time, I said, that man is lying. Didn't I say you can't but judge a book by its cover? Listen to the words and look at the action. So I I seen a video of Miss Netta speaking on the fact that she was going to, or he was going to, or whatever you want to be titled as, my brother, um, going to vote for Donald Trump. And I was like, you know what? I listened to a little bit. And I lost it because I did something and lost the video. I didn't get to finish listening to it. I don't know how to go and find it again because it was on FB on like one of those shorts. But anyway, when... They broke it down and said, look at all the stuff that they've done for our, our, our race. I was like, yes, it's true. Um, it was like uh, Jimmy Carter was back in town or something. I don't know. Was Jimmy Carter a good president? It might have not been. I thought he was the best president there was, but I don't know. But anyway, I'm not here for all that. But what I'm doing is I'm telling y'all that's who I'm voting for, and that's what I'm sticking to. And 
um y'all can say I'm wrong if y'all want to, but I'm not voting for um a howdy doody face. <laughs> I'm not voting for howdy doody. Mm-mm. I'm not voting for howdy doody face. So let me go ahead. The, the, the Lord hears the cries of the injustice. Trust me, he does. I'm telling you the truth. Anyway, so yesterday, the date was 8-6-2024. And I chose to play with the numbers because God told me to. And so I took the eight and the six and I, and I just made it 86 and I added it to 2024 and I got 2110. Mm -hmm. So I looked up the meaning of 2110 and it means he reveals. See, you see, do you see God is revealing himself to us and no one knows. Nobody's paying attention to God revealing himself to us but i'm paying attention yeah what did I, my last video i got on and i'm dang going panic state almost me the earth angel that's supposed to know god so well there's so many layers to god i will never know all of those i will i will die trying though i will so the strong the strong for the the number 2110 is to feed um to feed is to reveal to feed is to give you knowledge to feed is to tell the word of the lord did you know that in jewish historical studies numbers were believed to be a means for understanding the divine which is source which is god almighty god this marriage between the symbolic and the physical found is pentacle in the creations of the tabernacle. So I looked up the word pentacle and pentacle means highest level, a high pointed piece of rock, um, needle. So it's kind of like the pyramids where they go up to the highest point. You reach the top. This is what they be doing, but they be mocking. The mountain, you know how the mountain peaks? Wow, look at God. Look how God displays himself to us. And we don't even realize it's God. So I also looked up the meaning tabernacle. Tabernacle, a house of worship. Okay. A house of worship, a tent of meeting, a portable earthly dwelling of God used by the Israelites. Portal means a version of something such as a small lightweight television or a computer or a telephone. It says to feed them with my word. So I was like, look at God. So you telling me just like this right here, like this right here is a portable it's a portable, y'all. Let me let me keep on explaining. I have Revelations 10 I'm going to speak on today. The Lord sent me to Revelations 10, right? Because I wanted to follow up with what I spoke on in Revelations 9. And that's what kind of got me spooked. Now, I didn't say spooked, but it rattled my little feathers. And I was like, uh-oh. You know, I know I play a lot, Lord Jesus. But Lord has a great sense of humor. And he's so he fancies me. He really does. And he wants me to do better for myself. And I understand that. My Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, you are so amazing. Thank you. Thank you for loving me enough to tell me to do better. So, in Revelations 10, it speaks on the small scroll. And the small scroll, okay, it speaks on a small scroll, right, in Revelations 10. The meaning of scroll in Hebrews means book. So it also, the strong number, it also refers to the strong number of 5612. It means cipher, which comes from the verb, verbal root meaning to count. So look at God. Look how God just broke it all down. Look at God. God did it. Listen. Listen, y'all. 
So the Bible is a portal tabernacle, easy to carry from place to place. Also, the numbers cipher the um the um the things out for us, the divine connection between us and God. It's a way, it's a language that is between us and the divine to count, to add numbers, um, to decode. So at this time, I would like to come to you today with Revelations 10, and let's go ahead and read it. And it states, Then I saw another powerful angel coming down from heaven, dressed in a cloud uh, with a rainbow over its head, over his head. Stop. That is why I continue to say, and I haven't lately, that it is God's rainbow. It's God's rainbow. It's, it's God's creation. It should not be mocked by the devil. Um, homosexuals use it as though they want to say, it's I'm proud. No, you're proud of what? Of something that is against God? Shame on you. I rebuke you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And get mad if you want to. Get mad and turn around and get glad. The only way you're going to really be accepted in the kingdom of God is when you repent and let go of all those devils that are on you. You have a Jezebel lustful spirit that you have allowed to linger on inside of your body to work and live within you. I'm so sorry. This is the truth. The rainbow symbolizes the promise of God. Let me continue on. His face was like the sun and his legs were like pillars of fire. The angel was holding a small scroll open in his hand. He put his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land. Then he shouted loudly like the raising or the roaring of a lion. Wow. So his right foot was on the sea and his left foot was on the land. That is a ginormous angel. I would just, me reading it, shook shook my feathers. Can you imagine? And this is a, a vision. A prophecy of what was to come and I'm revealing to you that we are in those times it says then he shouted loudly like the roaring of a lion and I have lion here that represents or is a symbol of ultimate power and of supreme royalty the lion is a sun symbol like Jesus and the light also represents the light of the world and the destroyer of darkness. We come to destroy darkness in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, that is. I'm so happy I can shout today. I'm so happy for the breeze today. Yesterday, it was rather warm. It's going to be again today, so I'm out early. I got to get out early and do what I do, you know? Um, Do what I come to do in the name of Jesus. So, let me continue on. So, conquering kings and um, of kings. So, the Lord sent this angel, this mighty angel, to put his foot on, on, on the land and the sea. Came with the small scroll and he came to conquer kings of kings and taking vengeance on his enemies. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, because these people, these enemies, all of these enemies, boy, these enemies. I cannot with these enemies. And when he shouted, the voices of seven thunder spoke. And I recall one time when I was doing the lift and um, someone, a lady got in the car and she said, when I get mad, oh no, that's me. (laughs) No, I told her when I get mad, my voice sounds like thunder. 
And she told me when she gets mad, her eyes light up like lightning. I said, whoa, <laughs> that's spooky wookie, ain't it? Uh, so when the seven thunders spoke, I started to write. But I heard a voice from heaven say, keep hitting what the seven thunders say. Do not write them down. So I got curious and I said, I want to know what the seven thunders said. So I did me some mathematics and I found the answer, but I will not share it. Not at this time, not until the Lord says so. Then the angel I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven. And he made a promise by the power of the one who lives forever and ever. He is the one who made the skies and all that is in them. The earth and all that is in it. And the sea and all that is in it. He made it all. And he can make all of it happen. Trust God. Trust me. Listen to the prophet. Glory, glory, hallelujah. The angel promised there will be no more waiting. Oh, wow. I'm tired of waiting, Lord. This is, I mean, we're not supposed to be tired. We wait on God. God's timing, right? It's God's timing. But if the, if the angel said there will be no more waiting, and he has come to tell us what the Lord God in heaven has said, wow. I'm so, I'm so very happy. The day has come. I have seven here. In the days when the seventh angel is ready to blow his trumpet, God's secret will be finished. This secret is the good news. God told his servants, the prophets, listen to the prophets. I'm here to preach the word of the Lord. My name is Prophet Regina, and I tell the truth and nothing but the truth. And God helps me. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. So shout amen and shout hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Come on, let me hear you say amen. Yes. Yes and yes. Then I heard the same voice from heaven again saying to me, go and take the open scroll that is in the hand of the angel that is standing on the sea and land. So I went to the angel and I told him, the angel told me to come. God told me to come and give Get this small scroll for me. Let me stop right here. See, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get gatow. Let me keep it. Let me keep it holy. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. And he said to me, "Take this scroll and eat it." And um, if it was me, I would have said, I would have been looking up at him like, "Eat it." They said, "Eat it, eat it." The, the angel said, "Eat it." eat it uh-huh and it says it will be sour to your stomach but in your mouth it will be sweet as honey so i took the small scroll from the angel's hand and i ate it in my mouth it tastes sweet as honey but after i ate it it was sour to my stomach then I was told, you must prophesy about many peoples, nations, languages, and kings. This is the word of the Lord. So, Bay, should I take all of it or should I portion it? Please don't go in that porta potty, ma'am. Please. 
the word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for another beautiful banging message. You're such a banging God, ain't you? Bang, 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 bang. God is so amazing. I'm looking at all these bees in this this, this little bush here I'm sitting by. I'm so amazed that it could be so many bees just running around in the bush. They're not paying no attention to me. They could have just told me a new one, but they're doing their job. They're up early doing their job, and their queen is somewhere waiting for them to bring back all the the, th the hard work that they... And that's what the queen does. I can understand that, but I think it's kind of like Candyman. The, the queen has so many workers in her beehive. She sends out all these... She sends out all of these, um, what's the word I'm looking for? She sends out all of these minions to do her job. The beehive. Symbolic for the devil. And, and the demons that she casted out amongst the world. Wow. Look at God revealing. I'm sitting here and I just read the I just read the energy I'm seeing. Like they're here doing God. I mean they're here doing well, their God, not my God, their God, their family, the family, the family, they're a family. And they've been sent out in spirit to terrorize the world, to torment the world and torment God's people. Wow. Look at that. Look at God. Well, anyway, that is the word of the Lord. So, let me continue on. I have some energies. And I'm reading the ones that came out yesterday. So, we got jealous of one's gifts here. They are jealous of the gifts that God's people have. And they come to wreak havoc on God's people. They they do it. They, they do it for a lifetime. They do it over and over again. I have the number 666 came out. Look at God. But see, we as the chosen ones know that we don't follow that energy. We follow God's energy and God's energy on the other side, on the good side, on the good foot. It means well-being, fresh beginnings and greatness. I come to be great today, greater than I was yesterday. Trying my my um my best or giving it what I can today and hopefully tomorrow better day. Lord Jesus, we pray. Amen. So let's continue on. They try to steal your power. They try to take what's yours. Yes, that's what they come to do. If they can't take your power, then they try to destroy it. And if they can't destroy it, then they just try to nick picky at you and be a nuisance in your life and just at eh, eh, eh you. We here to get rid of your annoying spirits. Yeah, we are. Beauty is only skin deep, but I say love is beautiful when it's pure and unchanging. I love God. God love me and God love you. Listen to the prophets. The prophets are trying to tell you God love you. And God says, oh, you are so special to me. I have something I want to give you. But first... We need to clean you up, big baby. Somebody's mad. They're they're um staying in your um. Somebody's mad, saying stay in your place, baby. Yeah, somebody's mad and saying stay in your place, baby. Lol, lol. I thought I caught you. Yeah, and a matter of fact, 
I was speaking on this yesterday, and I don't want to forget to say it again today because it was a banger, but I just didn't like the way I pre presented myself. I was a little too cocky. I hope that I'm not as cocky as I was yesterday because I had my um my phone sitting on a lot of stuff, and I was trying to make sure I didn't wasn't drowned out. Like the last video was kind of low, but I was thinking. I said so the other day, a couple days back, I seen my ex friend. And when I seen her, she was in a location where I was like, what's she doing over here? It was early in the morning. I'm like, what's she doing over here? And so she went down this road I never went down before. And so it happened, I went down there the other day. And I noticed it was a big, fancy hotel over there. And I'm like, what's she doing over here? Is she, well, maybe she works here now. She might not work where she used to. Maybe she works in a hotel. Well, anyway, and I started thinking. And I said, she she's 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 been around me a long time gave me some bad advice gave, gave me some good advice was always calling me i'm like trying to get away from her it was a lot of times i was trying to to, to unfriend her and she would never leave me alone well this time she unfriend me why are you unfriend me now that i call myself a prophet it's so strange um the lord has been revealing to me who these people are in spirit. And I caught you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I caught you. I continue to catch them, Lord Jesus. I continue to catch them. You continue to show me. God shows me things. Um, I saw something the other day. I read the back of a of a um license plate, and I was like, what? Are you telling me, Lord? And that's why I said, not only has my son has risen. I'm speaking as Mother Mary, that is. Also, my whole family has risen. That's why it says my ancestors are with me in spirit. They're around me, like protecting me. The innocent naked in the water. Lord, I want to be as innocent and naked in the water as I can. If the water is pure, if it's clean water, not dirty water where the dirty witches come from, but the clean water, the holy water, not the not the polluted water, the toxic water, the contaminated water, what the, the devil's the well. Um, I don't want to be a player no more. Somebody, somebody decided they want to stop their dirty ways. They, they fell in love. And, they don't even look at their wife the way they used to. They they went and touched something that was so delicious and tasty. They just they just can't ever go back to the way it was. And oh, I think the little wicked wife is mad. You stay over there in your wicked kingdom. You don't you don't belong around here. You're not our kind. Um, lighthearted, kind soul. That's what they miss, see, because I recall back then one said to me, he says, Oh, just wish you was my baby mama. Really? You do? <laughs> I'm not your baby mama. I'm prophetess Regina. I am the light. Vibe killer. Somebody's a vibe killer. They probably say I'm the vibe killer because they want to party all the time. And here I come killing their vibe. Uh, did I come to spoil the party? Yes, I did. I recall... <laughs> uh one of the worship sessions and the apostle was talking about how when he shows up certain particular places places people get upset because he comes he comes in and it, it just changes the whole mood and they, they don't want to party no more um god said the party's over in the name of jesus can you party with me no you cannot party with me I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I don't I don't party like that. I'm going to party and celebrate when I make it to heaven. I have 1 Timothy 1, 7 and 8. It says, desiring to be teachers of law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof or whereof they affirm. But when that the law is we, wait a minute, but when, or but we know that the law is good. 
if a man uses it lawfully. Forgive. We. First Timothy is saying in verse 1, 7, and 8, it says, Some desire to be teachers, but they don't understand. They are not good teachers. They are false prophets and false teachers. And, and it says, We affirm that we know the law, and we as men of God abide by that law. That makes a good prophet. That makes a true prophet, not a false prophet. If I read it right, I might have just gave my made, made it into my own meaning. <laughs> but that's okay because I said it and it's true. I'm disappointing of people and pirates, the use of products to redu to um, reproduce another one's work. Look, I said it yesterday. I said it right before I pulled it out and didn't know it was in here. I said there are copy, they copy every damn thing. Take every creation that God has made and, and use it for their own because they're not creators. They're 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 stealers, they're thieves, they're um enemies. They don't they don't know how to build nothing on their own. So I go and I look at a old um video of someone posting in which I, you know, I don't care none, 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 none about none say. I'm, she makes me so nauseous to my stomach. I'm telling you. Puke. On a stage with some clouds in the background coming out like she's an angel from heaven. She's a damn lie, you know what I'm saying? Shame on her, Lord. Do you see her rotten spirit itself? You're a copycatter. You copy illegally. Yeah. I copy. I, I want a patent on all my stuff, bae. I want everything to be patents, and I want a copyright on all my things so they can stop stealing from me, Lord Jesus. Bae, can you make that happen, bae? It's somebody funny today here at the park. One gentleman had on red. I have on red. And now this gentleman has on turquoise. My two favorite colors. I have Nina Simone here. To me, we are the most beautiful creatures in the whole world. Black, and I mean, that is ever, in every sense. Nina Simone. I love you, Nina Simone. You're a beautiful woman. You're a beautiful woman. Proverbs 14 and 31. He who oppresses the poor shows contempt for their maker. But whoever is kind to the needy honors God. I recall when everybody was having a hard time doing that pandemic and everything. People was like, what is we going to do? But Trump did. He stepped in and he gave us some stimulus checks and stimulized us and gave us some food stamps for everybody like if you needed them it was hey go get them and i was i'm like thank you lord thank you but see then then what your macaulay got in there and capitalized on it because he's saying well you you can't have we gotta have to get y'all to pay this back because we it took too much out of our pocket y'all's a damn lie okay if god made this land and put everything on it then that's enough for everybody they're lying and telling us it's not enough for everybody. It's enough for everybody. Matthews 10 and 16. Behold, I send forth a, uh, as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. If that's what it said, I would think what I said, it says snake here because it says a serpent is a symbol of evil power on destruction from the underworld as a untrustworthy person. I'm going to tell you who's untrustworthy. Them, the ones that ain't like us. Because of your spirit, people think you're fake. 
because of people's spirits, people think they're fake. But they think that the, I'm gonna tell you who the fake ones are the ones that that uh, that are the pretenders. They're the pretenders, right? So they're fake. The ones that steal, the ones that mock, the ones that copy, the ones that ha they don't have a, a real life. They're just devils walking around here, dead zombies doing the devil's work. Happy that they got to be up here and not back in hell. They don't want to go back to hell. It's miserable down here. They up here having a party. They're having a good time. Change of plans are working in God's plan. Good news. That's the good news. I come to spread the good news in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And God bless and God said so. And I'm going to keep on doing it. This is the truth. This is the truth. Go tell the truth. Holler the truth. Shout the truth. Tell the truth. Scream the truth. I am the truth. Compulsive sex behavior, hypersexuality, intense focus on sex and urges that are difficult to control, that cause problems in health, jobs, relationships, and even in it's basically your life. It runs you. Uh, that's some people that be saying, this is our rainbow. No, it's not. It's God's rainbow. Y'all got sex demons attached to y'all's asses. Gang stalking. All up in mind. All up in mind, Lord. They're gang stalking. They don't want to change their ways. They just want to sit back and watch and be miserable and mad and mad at me because I'm speaking the word of the Lord. They want to, they want to knock the words out of my mouth. You cannot touch me. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Look, look what came out. Well, it didn't come out. I pretty much was on the top yesterday and I grabbed it. Yeah, because it's so amazing that it sat there and the message pertaining to the rainbow. Mm -hmm. Look, over the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. Over the rainbow, God's promises over there and it's beautiful and it doesn't have nothing to do with us twisting up in there. See, that angel didn't come from heaven with that rainbow on top of his head and say, Hey, everybody, I got a message from the from the Lord Jesus Christ today. Hey, everybody, gather around. Listen to what I got to say, y'all. Hey, sisters. Hey, sisters. That angel came down to take care of business. It's not like that in the kingdom of heaven. Those type of energies and spirits are not allowed there. They're dirty. This is the word of the Lord. I have age of Pisces here that defines the time where human beings engage more in, in, than ever in the matters of the soul. I have Job here, 36 and 20. Do not wish for mighty, for might when people are taken from their homes. Be careful not to turn evil, which you seem to want more than suffering. Wow. Lord, some of them lately, they were like, I like it over here. I like being evil. I like, I like being devilish. I like doing dirty things. I like being a dirty person. I like it. I like everything about it. I like when I toot it and I, I toot it up at night with, with different people. God sees all of it. Uh-huh. He saw me. Oh, man, when that prophetess told me to somebody been cocking a leg, I was like, I'm guilty. Oh, uh, yes, I am. God clean me up. God clean me up. There's nothing. I got a good bill of help other than, you know, I need to work on one more, two or three more things. But as far as I ain't, I ain't got no none of them sexual demons on me no more. Uh-uh. Now, babe, are you telling me I pray? I, I, I think I wake up normally but i'm i'm praying that i'm not the one screaming in my you know screaming at night and and, and i'm having the dreams and don't realize i'm having nightmares and i'm screaming off yelling for my mama please don't let that be me lord i'm supposed to be ill um chosen people walk alone or with a mate and we got courage to keep going and courage to speak the truth thank you and I stand in the storm for I know the promises of the Most High Heavenly Father, Prophetess Regina. Somebody having bad luck. 
Y'all finna go have a picnic -y? Oh, that's sweet if y'all about to have a picnic. Oh, you about to ride your skateboard. I know that's right, little man. Um, For better or for the worse... For better or for worse, go get your exercise on. I ain't mad at you. She fell off. Look at that damn thing. All right. Somebody has a big little secret and they think it's hidden. Oh, it's a lot of them, Lord, to have big little secrets. They think they're hidden. They think their big little secrets are hidden. I can't go for that. I can't go for that. No, no can do. I don't want a parts of it. I don't want no parts of it, Lord Jesus. I don't want no parts of it. Wow. Never knew people with such loving spirits existed. Surprise! You know what? I really didn't. I, like, I just thought the way it was going on in my life at one point, I was like, there's nobody out here really kind anymore. There's no true people out here. Everybody lies. Everybody lies. It's true. Everybody lies. God can forgive a lie. But what kind of lies are we lying about? And how far do you go with your lies? And what do you do? What kind of lies are you lying about? You're lying about stealing from people. You're lying about um, who you are. You're, you're, you're putting on a big show, a big fat lying show. Your whole life is a lie. Now, that's pretty bad if your whole life is a lie. Wrongdoers, there will be no entry at the gate. Did I say that? I said, you ain't getting in. See, they won't. They mad because they know good and damn well. They got to go back to hell and burn and and um and get tortured. But they they so mad because they cannot make it to the kingdom of heaven. That's what makes them so mad is that we know God. They don't know God. Yeah, they're waging war on us because of it. Yeah. And they wage war in secret. You don't even know when they're waging war on you. I'm trying to tell you who's waging war on you. The ones that's not like us. The pretenders. The ones that I have shown up and shown out and revealed so many times before. I'm here to preach the word of the Lord. We got a warning. We got a warning here. We got a warning that there is some bullshit taking place right in front of your noses. Bullshit. I'm here to speak on the bullshit, the, the things that the, the Lord has told me to tell y'all, to reveal to y'all, okay? Look, bloody-minded, deliberately unappropriate, refuse to change one's minds. They don't, for one thing, they, so, they already have, um, have died. So, yeah, they're not going to change their minds. Look, y'all, they're not like us. They're not like us. And I'm not picking a someone because they look like me. I'm not picking them because they're they're my my um uh my gender. No. I'm picking the person that's right to make this world a better place. That's right to do right by everybody. That's not out here um trying to put people in a penitentiary or a use the penal system to destroy people's lives you know somebody's upset about a breakup they they were like why me lord why why can't i have that why can't why is why why me um revelations 22 and 16 it says i jesus have sent my angels to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. Can I preach today to you? Can I tell the truth? 
can I teach you a little something about God and what he's saying to you? Listen to the word of the Lord. Look, hold on, partner. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> they they think it was my first rodeo, Lord. They know it wasn't my first rodeo. I just didn't know who I was, but it's not my first rodeo. I've done this umpteen thousand times in lives and lives and lives before. And I'm back with some more now. <laughs> I'm sweaty because it's getting warm out here. I got to get off. Habakkuk 2 and 4. The evil nation is very proud of itself. It is not living as it should. But those who are right with God will live by faith. Do you have faith in God? I have faith in God. And, faith, and God told me, because of my faith, he reveals things to me. Yeah, and so the evil doers are mad because they want to continue to do evil. And of course, why you come on up out of here, up here on this podium, huh? And straddle our horns and bust down our our kingdoms, our evil kingdoms, and our and trying to trying to knock down our evil altars that we have made and created so that people will worship us and not God. I am so attracted to you. Well, thank you. Everywhere I go, I see white people. Ugh. I'm so sorry, white right, people. Some of y'all got, you know, came back as white because y'all probably was cursed. Um, I don't know. I don't know how that works. But Luke 5 and 20. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, Man, thy sins are forgiven thee he said you've been forgiven go ahead you can go on with your life thank you lord because lord sure forgave me see where man don't forgive one another you ain't healed big baby i have to forgive everybody for what everybody did to me even the evil ones because see god is my vengeance he's coming for y'all he said just keep preaching the word of the lord and believing and trusting in me and keep having the faith big baby i got you amen and amen Yeah, this is talking about sex and marriage is beautiful. Um, the intimacy between a man and a woman and their spouse is a beautiful thing that should not be taken lightly because you know what it is? A gift from God. And it says, um, the cries of a broken heart. Yeah, somebody's so sad. Oh, why they leave me? Oh, man, I miss them. We got a divine intervention prayer here. It says, Jesus, my Savior, I ask that you intervene in the midst of all our problems. Life is so challenging right now, and I need you. We need you, Lord. We need your, your night. We need you in the daytime to comfort us and show us your ways. Amen. We love you. Amen. The devil's playground. See? They just wanted to keep it. They came. They try to make this place the devil's grave. Y'all over here, Bogart, trying to Bogart God's land. They don't want the holy people to have nothing. They're like, no, it's ours. You some damn liars. Okay? Y'all some damn liars. It's over for y'all. Look, look, y'all. <laughs> yeah, them donuts. I'm talking about them donuts. <laughs> they just going nuts, ain't they, them donuts? Anyway, and no, I had not went and got a donut. Not in the past few days, anyway. And I'm not going to go no time soon. Thank you, Jesus. God bless. I just grabbed a whole bunch of them. So um, I need to wipe my face. It just so happens to be donuts. <laughs> um, God said, move according to his word. And I will. And I have Proverbs 3 and 34 here. Proverbs 3 and 34, it says, God is against the proud, but he gives to the humble. 1 Peter 5 and 6, be humble unto God's powerful hands so that he will lift you up when the right time comes. The Lord hears the cries of injustice. Trust, he's working for you. 
um, telling people what they want to hear, smooth talk, lie, charm someone. Charges are being pressed. Charges are being pressed. And I think I've said them all. I have. That is it. So the last one is charges are being pressed. You guys know that y'all time is up. The time is now. The time is up. The time is winding down. The Lord is so um, powerful. What Nothing can destroy what the Lord has put together. Mm -mm, nobody can. They're just putting on a good damn show. They're some big fat line actors. Well, anyway, thank you for watching and God bless. Until next time, ta-ta. Keep your head up and know that God loves you. Amen. And amen. I love you, babe. God bless you. One.